Cologne Cathedral stands on a historical site. The overview of the architectural history of the site shows that churches were always built in the same place and that each new church was larger than its predecessor. Cologne was the capital of the Roman province Germania Inferior. From the first century onwards, it was also the most important city on the Lower Rhine. This is the northeastern corner of the city. In the most easterly part of what would later be the cathedral stood a Roman house with an atrium. A water basin, which you can see in the foreground, was discovered here. The baptistry of Cologne Cathedral would later be erected on this site. During their brief occupation of the city in 355 to 356, the Franks destroyed many of Cologne's buildings. After recapturing the city, the Romans pulled down the damaged buildings and raised the ground level in the eastern part of the site. In the 5th century, a first, larger structure was erected here on the street alongside the city wall. This building can be seen in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. It is likely that this building was the first church on the site. However, so little of the walls and inside flooring remain that it is very hard to say for sure. It is possible that the structure built over the Roman water basin in the foreground was used as a baptistry. In the 6th and 7th centuries, the early medieval city began to take shape. Archaeological findings prove that a cathedral has stood on this site since the second half of the 6th century. To the east of this early medieval cathedral, which dates from the Merovingian period, is the baptistry in its earliest confirmed development phase. The base of a keyhole-shaped pulpit structure was found inside the cathedral. Such armbo structures are typical of the late 6th century. The baptistry featured a large, beautifully decorated octagonal basin with columns along the edge that supported a ciborium, a structure to which curtains could be attached. The piscina can still be seen to the east of the cathedral. The early medieval cathedral in the northeastern corner of the city was modified and extended several times. By the end of its development, the early medieval cathedral had almost doubled in size. This construction phase ended in the Carolingian period. The baptistry's final development phase can be seen to the east of the cathedral. In the 9th century, it was replaced by a graveyard, which still exists to this day. Archaeological findings lead us to believe that the early Carolingian construction phase comprised an extension of the early medieval cathedral, which dated from the 6th and 7th centuries. It is also conceivable that the western part of the cathedral was a smaller, separate structure. Around the year 800, the floor inside the cathedral was of different heights. It is likely that the tomb of a person who had been venerated since the 6th century was raised above floor level in the middle of the church so that it was visible. To the east of this was a raised area with two pulpits, which was reserved for the liturgy. Such areas also featured in churches in Rome dating from the same period. In the 9th century, the old city wall was repaired and new structures were built on parts of it. In the year 800, the early medieval cathedral was torn down and a new one was built. The old cathedral, which was consecrated in the year 873, was over 100 metres long. With its generously proportioned west atrium, it reached as far as the old Roman main road. The cathedral and the palace buildings were some of the largest buildings of their kind in Europe. To the east of the old cathedral was another church, the Church of Sant Maria ad Grados. Thanks to the excavation work, much is known about the interior of the old cathedral in the Carolingian era. A codex dating from 1025, which is kept in Cologne Cathedral Library, shows the donor, the priest Helenus, handing over the codex to St Peter as patron saint of Cologne Cathedral. The old cathedral itself can be seen in the upper part of the illustration. A detailed reconstruction of the cathedral is possible thanks to this picture.
The old cathedral had both a western and eastern apse, two transepts and towers in the west end. Around about this time, structures were erected on the city wall behind the cathedral. Magnificent entrance structures were built in front of the cathedral to the south and to the right, the Palatine Chapel of the Archbishop. The overview of the architectural history of the site highlights a number of particular development phases. Roman Houses The first larger building in the eastern part of the site, dating from the late antiquity and modified at the start of the early Middle Ages. The early medieval cathedral only one of the graves dug inside the church in the previous development phase remained visible. The final development phase of the early medieval cathedral. At the start of the Carolingian era, the cathedral was almost as long as the so-called old cathedral that replaced it. The Carolingian cathedral, or old cathedral, was extended in all directions until the 11th century. The basic structure of the old cathedral remained unchanged until 1248. It is likely that the foundation stone for the new Gothic cathedral was laid somewhere in the choir foundations. Following the huge extension of the ring wall, the old city wall was no longer needed. The choir and the decoration of the cathedral interior were completed in a relatively short space of time. The new Gothic section was consecrated as early as 1322. Until the middle of the 15th century, the southern aisles were completed. The lower parts of the south tower were built high enough to accommodate bells. The naves were completed by the early 16th century. Because the north tower remained unfinished, the main portal could not initially be built as originally intended. Instead, the entrance was constructed slightly to the east. Between 1842 and 1880, construction of Cologne Cathedral was completed on the basis of the old plans. Until the Second World War, when the cathedral was damaged in bombing raids, its appearance remained unchanged. An overview of the construction phases in the Middle Ages. The Old Cathedral after the demolition of the eastern half. The finished Gothic choir. The southern aisle and south tower shortly before completion. This was what the cathedral looked like for more than 300 years. Cologne Cathedral is often described as the perfect Gothic cathedral. The towers are more than twice as high as the nave. An entrance leading into the south side of the south tower from the outside was opened for the first time. Since completion of this project in 2009, visitors have been able to access the foundations between the tower bases. From here, they can see the excavations. Guided tours of the excavations are also available.